Hello there everyone and welcome back. I gotta say those were some weird series of matches last episode. The first one of course was me messing up and laying a bunch of links into my base. The second one was a weird can rush and I don't know what to make of the third one with the Terran. Although, if I had been a little more diligent and actually not overestimated my Templars and just went straight to Phoenixes, I probably would have won that very easily. For one thing to consider, even though the Terran had two side expansions heavily fortified, they are sacrificing a lot of economy since they're not using the Orbital Command Center, which gives them access to a bunch of utility options, which is most notable with the scans that you occasionally see. It reveals my Dark Templar that I tried utilizing, and most importantly, it gives them access to the Mule, which gives them a bunch of bonus resources every like minute or so, roughly. I can't remember how long they last, but it wasn't as bad as it may have seemed. If only I had dealt with the Banshee aggression that much better, though. Archons would have been nice, having two, maybe three of them there to do the splash damage hell. Like I already said, Phoenixes would have easily eliminated that, since I had Observers already in position. So, ultimately I just screwed up and then tried to play a standard game while being so thrown off. So let's hope we can rectify that in this series, or at least this episode. Alright, Protoss for Zerg. This should be pretty straightforward, I just gotta remember to... I don't know if it was actually the case, but I should remember to put my second Adept, or at least whatever is blocking that pathway, on hold position. So that way it's impossible for Zerglings to try and kind of like micro out the Adept there preemptively, or at least anything that's defending the point. Since that can happen with a keen eye type of uh, opponent, they can just juke in there, then force the, my units to kind of walk out of the wall in if I don't have them in hold position. So that may have been what happened outside of just a bull rush, an unlucky bull rush. But even then, I think my wall off, or at least the position my adept wasn't all that great anyway. So I don't think it's as big of a deal as it could have been, or at least how I'm making it sound. But something just to help deal with the, the case that when that does happen, where I'm kind of getting out micro to a fag extent, it helps, it at least makes it so I don't have to pay attention to the adept nearly as much. I just gotta make sure there's a wall or a pylon right behind it, and of course sentries are really damn handy in that regard too. And for once everything seems to be going normal, so expansion, that's all straightforward. Let me try and minimize my talking. It's going to be really tricky to do, I suppose, since I am trying to at least expre express my mindset coming into this game, coming into this battle. And really, since with the fast expansion, I don't have to worry so much about the cyber core just yet. Just got to be mindful. I wasn't really paying attention to gas timing, though, mind you. But I think that answers my question to a vague extent. I can't remember what it starts off with. 200, 2250. I think that's a good indicator. I need to get everything under order. I'm just trying to do the math in my head. Was that a gas first? Yep, it'll be 100 gas by the time that spine pool finishes. So there's some kind of like learning the mechanics of the game on the fly. Probably not a smart thing to do, let's be fair. It's asking for disaster. And I'm guessing that's four, well, two lanes at least there. And I gotta get a pylon built. That's the one thing that's kind of out of order there. I'm gonna be slightly supply blocked, but not for the adept at least. You must construct additional pylons. And there's our warning right there. You have not and I don't have to rush this just yet, but I might as well. Okay, four links. I was hoping maybe I could hide that thing, but not gonna happen, but it might survive. I just gotta be mindful of the timing of my... Will my adept finish in time? This is the tenuous moment right here. I don't think the... I sadly don't think my probe was gonna make it. Oh, that was close. Talk about cutting it to, down to the wire, huh? That could have easily ended a disaster with a repeat. Although, I need to build a second adept. And we noticed four of them out there. I just want to see where they're at with that said. I wasn't really looking all that much to be fair, so I don't think that helped me very much. And sadly, I did place my second uh, pylon up in front, so 
it's very easy for my opponent to see it and prepare accordingly, but if this is such normal play, I don't think it's a big deal in all seriousness. And now speed is up, so I don't think getting aggressive is a good idea at this point. Let's just keep it simple, I guess, for simplicity's sake. Especially since my servers are going to do that for me. Alright, so speed up Overlord. That is really important to know. Drop play, nice worms are a possible thing. Since I have no way to know speed actually finished, mind you. But that signifies potential drop play for later on. And since you already see my dang units, so let's just go and do what we're supposed to do as aggressively as possible. And I was hoping to build another adapt, but... No damage, but... I, I, I didn't even turn on the beam because I had a shift Q command, so that's what happened there. I was hoping to maybe snipe a couple of those drones as they were transferring, but... We still need to figure out what they're doing, with that said. And get my third going as well. So Lair's just by now, lots of speedlings. And I do need to kill that Overlord quickly too. Since there were a lot of speedlings just built there, we gotta be ready for it. And these cells are have a very simple role in mind. They're gonna cover the one thing I talked about already. Now, where's my phoenix? My phoenix isn't even built yet. How can I, aid you? I was hoping to use that to kill the overlords. Even though it has speed, this will eventually die. It's just a question of, do I need to build more? Because these links suggest there might be. So I'm curious. Hydralisk, okay. So we're doing Ling Hydra. That's good there. I don't even need Immortals, I just need a lot of Observers to kind of help watch my blind spots, as it were. And make sure I have Celts here at all times, and ideally get my Templar going since I am starting to pull my gas. Our window is short. And keep revealing the army too. If The more I can micromanage these Oracles, the better. They're going to be good for me long term. Especially if it opens up these opportunities to kill these dang things here. I gotta keep in mind... Nope, there goes my phoenix. That was short-lived, wasn't it? Either way, let's keep moving around. We do have them revealed, mind you. And that was the wrong button. I accidentally unbind my oracles as a result of that. Research complete. Yeah, what do I want to do, Storm? Get lots of gateways in preparation for this. Although it's a bit of a mess. I said early on that building placement and organization is not my forte. This is gonna stink. But I can stall at least. Because my oracles just die immediately there. This is gonna suck. It had promise. And then everything is here. But that's a lot of resources, maybe I can get away with it, if some of my use could survive. My probe sure as hell didn't. That is a ridiculous amount of units there. Those Templar were essential, and hell, having cannons in that would, would have been good too. Since the Immortals don't really serve much of a purpose there, do they? 
Was that really just slow? Yeah, I probably was just slow on my dang High Templar. That was probably the only thing it cost me there. That really sucks. Everything was pretty good, aside for that one thing. Since the storm would have killed, just murdered those Banelings, let alone, because I think that's what mur killed me the most. Since my... I'm pretty certain my level 1 attack upgrade there, which would have been a death sentence to a Zerg that didn't have the armor upgrade, at least for the Zerglings. So that may have been what killed me there. That really sucks. And of course, just suddenly losing those oracles would have been a pain too, but at least I got the intel I needed. It's a question of what do I do with the robotics facility then? Since immortals are kind of pointless there, I would argue, aside for if somehow the Banelings were to roll into them, that would be the exception. That's something I need to figure, or at least figure out some, since I'm more used to the Roach Hydra composition, not so much the Ling Banelings. Alright, Protoss on Protoss. Let's see how it goes, and apparently we're fighting a Diamond Rank player. That's what this uh, little border is supposed to represent. It could be someone on the verge of getting demoted, mind you. So, let's not put too much pressure on myself. If I were to somehow win, it probably wouldn't be because I'm that good doing commentary. Let's not kid ourselves. I am facing pretty damn close to Diamond on my European server, but I'm only close to that point. I'm not quite there yet even on that. I can't even remember if I typed in good game or not when I left. If if I want to be perfectly honest, I may have been a bit of a dick and I kind of messed up on my wall off some, didn't I? Oh, that's going to stink. It may not be too terrible. I'm just going to have to res... Hmm. Yeah, this is going to suck here. I placed, I was supposed to place the pile on the ramp. And with that said, let's get our gas going before I forget about that now. Do I get the pile early? It's kind of not, not helpful. Since I need the resources for my second gateway. We'll have to work on it as we go. Try and figure this out and hope my opponent doesn't abuse it too much. If they do go adapts. Everything is as it should be so far. I gotta remember to add my final units in in the gas as soon as possible. Now I'm just watching what he's doing there. Since I'm not going to get much of a read about... You have not enough minerals. How the hell do I have not enough minerals? Oh, that's because I had a probe there. I, I saw for some reason I wasn't building any... What is it? Any stalkers is what threw me off there. Alright, so we're good. I gotta remember to get another pylon up. And I do really want to see what they're building. I just gotta know where their units are. Or where the probe is, mind you. Alright, two stalkers. That's convenient. What do we have of note? This is a very rare opportunity. We get to see the inside of my po probe or opponent's base. And apparently, Vorgate. Hmm. We are one with the probes are under attack. I am the voice of the eclipse. Well, we got split fire, so that's good. I think we know what's going on here. It's just an all in type of attack. We do need to be mindful of adept still. Since my probe did finally die, and eh, I am forgetting my pylons, which kind of stinks. Supply block's not terrible just yet. But like I said, very rare opportunity to see what my opponent's doing. Although, it's possible they could have cancelled. I do need this immortal up. 
before I can safely poke on out. And a sentry. Well, Celts in general are going to be amazing here. Get the Amores out. And you just bogged yourself in a little bit. I do need cells because they help a ton here. This is gonna suck. I was prepared for this and everything. And it's not gonna happen. And of course my stalkers are all blocked out here. Jesus. God damn. I really should have gotten that sentry. The sentry would have done so much there just to stall. And of course I was a little bit cramped there too with the pylons in the way, conveniently. Uh, this is a run of bad luck for me, isn't it? I knew what was happening, I still lost. There, m mind you, there were probably a little bit of tiny things I could have done better there. But still. That was a bit of a throwaway. That just goes to show how just the sentry alone could have stalled. Just make sure the Immortal was up immediately for that fight. I should have seriously done that. Alright, this time around we got ourselves a random player, which could mean anything. Although, to be safe, I should probably go with the Protoss type opening, which is having the gateways along the ramp. Just be prepared for that. Although, thankfully, we haven't really had to deal with the Adept phase in or warp in just yet into my main, into my mineral line. But it's good to just have that going in case. This has been a rough series of matches for me, it feels like. Good god. Well, at least my opponent's kind enough to accommodate me. So, should I take him seriously? Well, it doesn't really alter my opening all that much, if I were to be fair. It just leaves my first gateway vulnerable until I get an opportunity to see what they're doing. Assuming they're lying. Nonetheless, this has been a really bad series of matches for me. Good god. I should... I should have won that one, one match there. I should... It's just a matter of delaying, because for some reason in my mindset, I was thinking maybe I could have just done enough damage to at least delay it naturally. But of course, that's what Warp Gate does for you. It allows you to warp in. There was a proxy pylon down below in the Fog of War, too. And no, I'm not recalling it. My units said, thank you. I'm talking too much now. I think it is starting to hinder me at this point. But oh well, I'll live with it. I can always play off, what is it, after the recording, if I get the time. And there's confirmation of our Terran opponent. So at least it's nice to know that. We're just left wondering what the hell is going on. Well, that's not very neighborly of him, is it? Oh well, I know what I'm doing, to a vague extent. What does this tell me? My does not want my opponent to tech up. Really aggressive. Or doesn't want me to tech up. So what does that suggest? Really a fast aggr expansion? Because I'm going to need a stalker for this without a doubt. And I have the minerals for it, so why not? It has no armor, so I can do that too. I gotta be ready for the dang Reaper. Which sadly... Oh, that was a Reaper too. That was confirmation of a Reaper. So my Stalker is gonna be important in this regard. And I don't have any gas now for any units. Yeah, I don't actually have any gas right now, but that should be alleviated momentarily. 
since that refinery does can't I don't even said it, think it said it was canceled to be fair There, that was as flawless as I could ask for. But I am due for trouble with a cyclone, so... I need... I was gonna build a shield battery there, but it probably is not gonna help me in all honesty. I need shield battery down there. Although, to be fair, I should seriously still have shield batteries as a backup. Since my gas was heavily delayed, I am getting robotics to 48 or Banshee play or whatever my opponent is doing. And I can see what... I can actually check. This is a good time for it. Your probes are under attack. Okay, that's good to know. I want to say I can get away with Observer first. I want to say... I don't know if that's actually true or not. Since the Reaper did suggest a gas of some kind, after all. You have not enough minerals. Now, just to be safe, let's just scout through the normal pathway, so at least can see attack coming. Since the main thing to remember is that that also cost minerals for the refinery, or at least delayed anything my opponent was doing. In a century for good matter, for good measure rather, since I have plenty of gas and it's a good way to start spending it. I wasn't paying attention to me map. Was there an attack coming? Please let me know after the recording when it's actually posted on YouTube. I did a bad job checking. Do I go with devil upgrades? I'm, I might as well. I'm gonna have plenty of gas now. Bunker, there's a cyclone. That's fine. Ooh, we're going mechish. Does that mean I can get a fast third? Ooh, tech lab, this strikes me as banshees. Or an upgrade liberators, that's the only other exception there. Since it's mech, there's not really much need. Yeah, this is confirmation of mech. This might be an opportunity to practice with uh, some dish Tempest. I just don't know how useful they will be. Since I had some practice with them before. I just want to see what's building. Is it a Banshee? I have been doing a bad job checking, but I want to know if that Starport's building a Banshee or not. Or if it's a Liberator. Okay, it is Banshees. I shouldn't need to worry about that just yet, but I do need pylons. And I need to get a third anyway, start taking advantage of that. Third command center, we'll get ready to time and attack on that. Be mindful of harassment, that's what that banshee's probably looking to be. If I had to guess, since that would look like a cloak tech research. Or it could be upgrading liberators, because it just finished. And at times, pretty damn close to when two banshees come out. Normally. So I think that's confirmation I need. Let's get more defenses building. Get another observer going, because that's going to be important. And I should have had... I'm not having any Templar just yet, so that's a bit of an oversight, slightly. We do have a can, we have a banshee there. Can we kill it before? Oh my god, we killed it before the cloak activates. That was a lucky break for me. There should be a second one in all seriousness, though, so we need to be ready for that. I like 
You have to kill the tanks before they get a chance to properly siege, since this is all kind of a mechish army, to a vague extent. And my immortals are still alive, so you are going to have a field day. Just please kill the banshee, thank you. That was terrifying for a moment. And I have charge lots. Go get him, boys. This is the opportunity I need. Now, I gotta keep building and remember to get some more uh, gateways. Did we kill the tank, though? I'm gonna assume yes. But we're gonna have to do some damage, and I have no warp prism for this. But I am oversaturated here, so that's a plus. Can we kill this command center? That would be kind of nice. Probably not. And I need more... I need my gateways building. Oh, I did build more gateways. And I was talking about Tempest, so let's get started with that. Although, in all honesty... Damn it! That was awful. My rally point is all messed up there and nearly cost me a bunch of units. There, now that we have warp prisms, let's actually put them to use. Since that would be pretty po important for a situation like this. Actually, I should probably get ready to warp these into the main or something first. And I don't want you with the buildings there, if you could please. Now, I never hotkeyed my cybernetics core, so I'm gonna have to get used to that. Or remember that fact. And we're gonna try for fourth base strictly for gas, I'm thinking here. We're gonna try for a double prong attack somehow. And I have a lot of gas, so I'm gonna need a lot of Templar for this. This looks painful. This looks very painful. Although, stop shooting my warp prism. You're not allowed. It's forbidden. Thank you. Now, let's keep building. And do I have... I'd rather just get carriers in all honesty. Ah, the reason I want it, Tempest, was for the Liberators. I want to believe that was a lot of damage still, even though I sacrificed a lot to do it. And actually, I should just get the minerals at this point, shouldn't I? Just focus on the minerals since I was so gas heavy. And now I need my observers going spotting since I kind of have them grouped up with everything else, which probably is a bit of a mistake. Oh, here they come. Speak of the devil. Kill him. I don't have a warp prism or a pile in there, but I have a lot of units and your economy is officially screwed, last I checked. Now, let's continue on with my plan, plan of trying to murder him. All the while, keeping these carriers building, and I would like to have level 2 attack ideally for this. I'm hoping this attack will hit a fourth of some kind. I don't expect to kill him right now, but I have enough immortals to justify it. Oh god. That's like twice I was denied going air. 
or at least an air transition against Terran, it feels like. Although, with them being aggressive on a, on a mech type of build, that's not going to go well for you. Oh my, look at all these achievements. I finally got 750 solo wins. Which probably means I wasn't playing StarCraft enough back when I was actually trying to take it seriously, I guess. I don't know if I should be insulted or not. 